Coliseum is a blockchain game store that is trying to bridge the gap between Web2 and Web3 gaming. They provide an easy and fast solution for implementing a blockchain play-to-earn economy into any game. With Coliseum, developers will be able to turn in-game assets into NFTs. This can reduce the development time of Web3 games by a lot. There are at least 14 games coming to Coliseum. Among them are some solid pieces like Alaska Gold Rush, Metashooter, and Haunted Space. They have an upcoming Elite NFT collection with a supply of 5000. Elite NFTs will have the ability to create other NFTs called Gladiators. The Gladiators can then be used for earning in play to earn games. But 25% of the revenue generated by the Gladiator NFT will go to the holder of the Elite NFT that created the Gladiator. So if you own the Elite NFT, you can create Gladiators, sell them to other players and get 25% of the rewards they make. They haven't yet announced the min date and price of the Elite NFTs, but these NFTs could be a good opportunity. The team behind Coliseum has more than 35 members. Many of the team members are also part of Beetroot Lab, which is behind the first game of Coliseum, Dystopia, which is a play to earn RTS game that is currently in beta. The primary token is Zium. You can stake the Zium tokens for quite high APR on Ethereum blockchain. Single side staking is from 71% to 131% depending on how long you lock the tokens for. As a liquidity provider you get at least 270% and up to 499%. A lot of utilities will be based around staking of the Zium token. Stakers will receive token airdrops from partnered games higher rewards in-game that are on Coliseum, increased energy in-game, exclusive in-game quests and rewards, and whitelist spots for NFT mints. Developers will also have to stake Zium tokens if they want to perform actions like minting in-game assets as NFTs, creating tournaments, or buying ads for the Coliseum game store. So there is a lot of utility for the Zium token. There will also be another token later on, Seagold. It will be an inflationary in-game token that will be minted by Elite and Gladiator NFT holders. The tokenomics of Zium are okay. There's only 8.6% allocated for in-game rewards, but that is fine because the rewards will come mostly from the secondary token, Seagold. The vesting is okay as well. But I would like to see longer vesting for the team. Two years for this type of project is quite short. The team also had a small unlock at TGE, which is pretty unusual. The fully diluted market cap of Zium is 14 million. The current market cap is not shown here, but it is somewhere around 2 million. A lot of the circulating tokens are under the Coliseum team's control and they will not be sold anytime soon. The TGE of the Zium token happened at the beginning of May this year, which means that the vesting of all the sale rounds began, so there might be some selling pressure coming from them. At 2 million market cap, Coliseum does look undervalued. We can compare it to a similar project like Vulcan Forge. Vulcan Forge's current market cap is 100 million. That is 50 times higher market cap than Coliseum. Personally, I love Vulcan Forge and right now it is definitely a better project than Coliseum. But the potential of Vulcan Forge is definitely not 50 times bigger than Coliseum's potential. And Coliseum is still just warming up. Their play to earn mainnet goes live in Q4 this year and when the games on their platform start going live, Coliseum could gain traction. So in my opinion, Coliseum at this market cap is undervalued and I will be definitely watching this project. Please hit the like button if the video was helpful, it means a lot to me. 
Thank you and I wish you a wonderful day.